Welcome to this short presentation video. My name is Stephen Aitchison, the founder of Mind Alchemy and the author of Change of Thoughts. Now in this video I want to share with you the greatest psychological secret never told. So what is the great... <laughs> Who's this? Hello? Hey dude, I'm in the studio Hello? just now. I'm going to go Cartoon to the audition guy? for Family Guy and then I've got another audition Excuse for me. Futurama. And then I... oh. Listen, I'm, I'm trying to make a video here. Who are you? Sorry, and what are you doing here? My name's George, and I'm here for two auditions for Family Guy and Futurama. So, who are you, and what are you doing here? Well, this is my video, and this is my name's Steve, and I'm trying to make a video on the greatest psychological secret ever told. Cool, dude. Can I be in the video? I think I've missed the auditions anyway. Sure. Make yourself comfy, George. Hey, thanks, dude. Wait till my friends hear about this. So as I was saying, the greatest psychological secret never told... Can I just move this chair so I'm more comfortable? Sure, no problem. As I was saying, the greatest psychological hey, I'm secret... I'm sorry, could you just move <laughs> that right and over a, a little bit to the left? Yeah, no problems. Okay, the greatest psychological secret never told is literally the fact that we are able to change our beliefs. Now, that might not sound like that big of a deal. However, when you realise that our belief support literally shape our reality, that becomes absolutely massive in our lives. Hey, that's amazing. So you tell me I can change any of my beliefs? You can change any of your beliefs whatsoever. It doesn't matter which type of belief it is. And changing your beliefs could literally change your life. So if I have the belief that I'm not good with women, and I change that belief, I could be good with women? <laughs> of course, I'm great with women. I'm just <laughs> using that as an example. Yeah. yeah, if you change your beliefs about yourself, George, you could be good with women. Of course, you don't need to do that, George. Oh, no, not me, but I'd still like to hear some more. No problem. Just take a seat and prepare to be blown away. Sure, I'm all ears. So to know how to change your beliefs, it's useful to know how our beliefs are formed in the first place. This is great stuff, dude. <laughs> most of the beliefs we have just now have been formed over a period of years and mostly from when we were younger hey Steve, that can't be true okay tell me a belief you have about yourself just now George any belief um okay I'm really good with computers <laughs> my papa said I could just look at a computer I could figure out how to use it so your dad told you when you were younger that you were good with computers yeah we would have Ah, I see where you're going with this. So we form most of our beliefs about the world when we were younger. And these beliefs are shaped by the people around us, like our parents, brothers, sisters, friends, teachers, and the important people in our life. Yep, my mom always told me I could be anything I wanted to as long as I focused hard on it. That's true, George. Now, what about that belief that you're no good for women? You mean hypothetically speaking? <laughs> yep, hypothetically speaking. Well, see, I was a bit of a nerd at school, and in my school it was cool to be a nerd, so I didn't get the girls like the other guys did. Well, there's a few beliefs in there, George. One is that you believed it wasn't cool to be a nerd. Another is that you believed girls didn't like nerds, which led you to believe that you weren't good with girls, and that seemed to go on for a long time. Well, yeah, and I, and I think I still believe that. Okay, let me tell you the formula to form a belief then. <laughs> this is great, man. I'm so glad I stumbled across your video. <laughs> it's good to have you here too, George. Okay, the formula to form a belief is perception plus evidence plus time equals belief. Hmm. Well, you know, I get the evidence part. And I get the time part, but what do you mean by perception? Well, perception is how you perceive yourself or the world or an event at any particular moment in time. For example, you might perceive yourself as being a very intelligent person. So that is one perception you have of yourself. And we literally have thousands of perceptions about the world and ourselves. Does that make sense? Yeah, I totally understand what you mean now, man. Okay, good. Hmm. This is huge stuff you're giving me here, Steve. I mean, I need to walk about and think about this. So how then do I change a belief from not being good with women to a belief that I am good with women? 
Well, what we're talking about here is limiting beliefs. And every limiting belief has a negative outcome attached to it. For example, you say things like, I'm not good at, I can't do that, I'm not as good as, such and such. Ah, I see what you mean here. So I've been telling myself, I'm not good with women, so my brain is looking for evidence to prove that. Exactly. So to change that, you first have to feed your brain with a positive outcome-focused statement like, I'm good at, I can do that. But if I do that, I'm saying one thing to myself, but really believing another thing. That's true, and that's something called cognitive dissonance. Cognitive what? Cognitive dissonance, that's when you get that uncomfortable feeling caused by holding two conflicting beliefs at the same time. Ah, I see what you mean here. Well, to get over that, you would build up evidence to support the new belief you want to have, and eventually that will replace the old belief. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah, it's a bit like watching CSI New York. <laughs> I love that show, man. They have to find lots of evidence to prove someone is guilty before they charge them. That's it. That's exactly, George. You've got it. But how do I find evidence that I'm good with women? Well, have you had girlfriends in the past? Oh, yeah. I've, I've had girlfriends in the past. Well, that's evidence that you're doing something right to be able to start a relationship with a woman. Do you have female friends? Sure. Some of my best friends are female. Ah, I'm getting it, Steve. This is brilliant. So the more evidence I have that I'm good with women, that will eventually replace the old belief. <laughs> You've got it, George. Yep. This is mind-blowing stuff, Steve. I'm going to really have to think about this when I get home. It's like a light bulb moment. <laughs> Glad to help out, George. Are you doing any more videos like this? Yep. I've got another two lined up. Can I be in the videos? <laughs> George, I think you're the star of the show now, so I'd love to have you in the videos. Will I get paid for this? Star rates, George. Star rates. Woohoo! Can I finish the video off? Take it away. Hey, dudes. If you want to see the other two videos starring little old me, put your name and email address in the box below. And remember to share this video and leave a comment below. See you in the next video, dudes. This is unbelievable stuff. Hey, <laughs> unbelievable, and here's us talking about beliefs. <laughs>